Hey there, occult enthusiasts! Today, I'm diving into the dark and mysterious corners of the world to reveal five terrifying occult beliefs you won't believe exist. Buckle up, because this is going to be a spine-chilling ride. First up, we have the Wendigo. Originating from the folklore of the Algonquin-speaking tribes, the Wendigo is a malevolent spirit associated with cannibalism, insatiable greed, and the cold winter. It's said that those who indulge in cannibalism transform into this terrifying creature, forever cursed with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. The chilling part. Some claim to have seen these creatures stalking the forests of North America. Next, let's talk about the Aghori. This is a sect of ascetic Shaiva Sadhus based in India known for their extreme practices. They believe in embracing pollution and filth to achieve spiritual enlightenment. Agoras are known to live among corpses consume human flesh and use human skulls as drinking vessels. Their rituals are not for the faint-hearted, but they believe it brings them closer to the divine. Moving on to the Philippines, we encounter the Aswang. The Aswang is a shape-shifting monster in Filipino folklore, often depicted as a ghoul, vampire, or witch. These creatures are said to feed on the unborn, the sick, and the weak. They can transform into animals to blend in and strike when least expected. Just the thought of an Aswang lurking in the shadows is enough to send shivers down your spine. Now, let's head to Japan and delve into the belief of the Gashadokuro. These are giant skeletons, 15 times taller than an average person, created from the bones of people who died from starvation. They wander the countryside at night, seeking out lone travelers to crush and consume. The eeriest part? They're completely silent until they decide to attack giving their victims no warning before their imminent doom. Lastly, we have the terrifying belief in the Dibbuk. In Jewish folklore, a Dibbuk is a malicious possessing spirit believed to be the dislocated soul of a dead person. It's said to leave the host body once it has accomplished its goal, often something sinister. Possession by a Dibbuk can cause violent behavior, personality changes, and even physical afflictions. The only way to exercise a Dibuk is through complex religious rituals. There you have it. Five terrifying occult beliefs from around the world that are sure to give you nightmares. If you enjoyed this bone-chilling journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more eerie tales. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.